With over 8 billion people on this planet, environmental science comes into play because humans produce a lot of waste and pollute the environment. And one of the ways to pollute is to produce solid waste. And this video is going to discuss different types of solid waste and the different types or methods of trying to reduce or reuse this solid waste. This is the Earth Science Classroom. When discussing solid waste, you may come across different diagrams or schematics that generalize the whole topic of pollution in this way. So this diagram is looking at different ways of categorizing the waste and also what to do with the waste to be more friendly to the environment. So on the left, you have different types of solid waste and how we categorize waste. Now, generally, we can bundle all the waste into where it comes from, which is going to be municipal solid waste, or MSW. Now, this is any waste produced by a township, a city, a region, or a certain area under a government control. Maybe a county, maybe a state, maybe a region, maybe a province. Now, it could be small in terms of just a small village or town or hamlet, or it could be very large, for example, like a massive city like Tokyo or Rio or London or New York or L.A. So these massive urbanized conurbation cities, mega cities, produce all these different types of solid waste, and it can come in different types. Now, two types at a very generic level is going to be hazardous waste and non-hazardous waste. Now, hazardous waste has its own levels and strategies to dispose and control this waste. And non-hazardous waste is going to, again, have different types of disposal, but will be different from hazardous waste, obviously. And then we have the regulation. So the regulations that the United States have put in place at a state, county, or nationwide federal level to combat this waste and to properly manage how to dispose and recycle this waste. Non-hazardous waste has three different sections based on where the waste is coming from, the source or the origin, which is going to be residential, commercial, and industrial. Now, these three types of waste production differs greatly in what is being put out for the garbage and what is being disposed of as trash. Now, this can affect both the air and the water in terms of pollution, but in terms of this video, we're looking at just solid waste being thrown out from these three locations for non-hazardous. Now, that can range from any kind of food product, cardboard, plastics, bottles, glass. Industrial could be materials from building sites, materials from the industrial production or processes that go on in that factory and how they dispose of it. Commercial could be anything as well in terms of stone, metal, any kind of plastic materials. Again, all of this is going to add up into solid waste. Since the EPA was formed in 1970, the American government has been looking at pollution and garbage and solid waste in more detail after 1970, once they had the means to investigate and regulate more with the EPA being formed as a government agency. Then they formed certain further more stringent rules and regulations on the disposal and the management and recycling and general oversight onto solid waste in terms of landfills, incineration plants, and the effect on the environment. So first there was the RCRA, which is the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act of 1976. This was amended from 1965 from the Solid Waste Disposal Act. Then in 1980, we had CERCLA, which is C-E-R-C-L-A, which stands for Comprehensive Environmental Response Compensation and Liability Act, basically looking at overseeing the cleanup and remediation of certain hazardous waste sites, which turned into the Superfund site, which looks at also spills and accidents, whereas the RCRA 
is a little different and that just looks at the general disposal of such solid waste. In large proportion of studying solid waste and seeing where this waste goes and how we manage this waste is going to be recycling in terms of the environmental protection and the ability to reuse materials and not just discard and place into a landfill, for example. Now, the bad part is that America is trying to recycle. However, the business and economy of recycling is not what we would like in terms of the amount of materials recycled in the system. So re between 1950 and 2015, data shows that only 6% of the plastics discarded or disposed of was actually recycled, 6%. For disposal of such solid waste in different types, both hazardous, which comes to different levels, and non-hazardous, as mentioned earlier, for residential, commercial, and industrial, disposal can come in different ways. And this is not recycling. Recycling is a different part where you're going to reuse or remodel or remake the existing waste that is thrown out. Disposal is where it's not being recycled and it's being thrown out into the environment in two different ways. One way is incineration, which is to heat up and burn and combust the solid waste and that can also turn to energy in some situations where you have gas to energy incineration plants. And the main one is landfills, which is a very big issue for the environment for obvious reasons, both for different levels of landfills, the size, quantity, and the materials dumped in the landfill, and the space and location of that landfill. And for environmental science, the issue really is the amount of waste being put into landfills, and about 40,000 tons equates to one acre used of landfill, and just Imagine that over the entire country of how much waste that a individual or one business or one industrial business is going to throw out on a daily basis and how the mismanagement or the lack of recycling, the lack of proper management of, this, of these materials, both hazardous and non-hazardous, is going to add up over time and where these landfills are going to occur, the size, scale, and possible environmental issues deriving from these landfills, both air pollution, water pollution, and ground and soil pollution. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.